Thailand, uh, near Bangkok. How is the place called here? Samuraga. Nice. It's not easy to pronounce it. Okay. Yes, and um, this time we're the, we are with the search and rescue team of uh, Thailand, of Bangkok. Hello. Hi. And your names are? My name is May. May. I'm Joe. I'm Nui. I'm Nicholas. I'm Moa. Okay, so you are all from Thailand or? I'm from Philippines. Philippines. Others from Thailand. Others from Thailand. <laughs> Good. Uh, about this team, how, what is the name of the team? It's Taiwan Tia Search and Rescue Dog. We formed up like five years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by uh, Kun Mei is the team leader. Yeah. Okay, of the team. Yeah. And uh, how, how this idea came to your mind to start the Search and Rescue Team in Thailand? Well, actually, I want to do service um, dog for blind people. Service dogs, yeah, okay. for blind people. But it's very high responsibility. Mm -hmm. Search and rescue is more like more, more, more my style. Your style, okay. Yeah, style. And uh, what kind of dogs do you have in your team? German Shepherd. You have a German Shepherd? Yes. And the rest of the people? I have a, I have a six months old kid bull. Nice. I also have a German Shepherd. Oh, my one is Beagle. Beagle? And I have Beagles, Belgian Malinois, and Labrador. Okay, a lot of dogs. <laughs> so you have a lot of chances, eh? Yes. Uh, this uh, team is a voluntary team, is a government team, what kind of a team is it? We are volunteer. Volunteer teams, okay. And how often do you train normally? Um, actually, twice a week, twice yes. A week. Twice a week. On weekend, yeah. Okay. And uh, do you train uh, in what kind of system? Do you train by IRO or another association? It's like rubble search from IRO. Rubble search in IRO, yeah, okay. IRO. But area search is from America. Nice. Uh, do you remember the association? American Search and Rescue Dog Association. Perfect. Okay. And uh, have you ever been to a competition or to a test of IRO? Yeah, we have. We had test two years ago. Nice. Uh, to not pass, you know, a one level A and one level B. Ah, nice. Uh, In rubble, rubble sets or uh, rubble? Rubble sets. I'm the team leader of Taiwan Tia Search and Rescue Dog. I have German Shepherd. Uh, her name is Zhen Hong. Quite difficult name. <laughs> uh, now she is one and eight months. And she is very good dog. Before uh, Zhen Hong, I have another one German Shepherd. But she died on June. Um, she passed level B IRO test. She went on mission with me three times. The reason that I joined this this team because uh, I believe that dog can do anything more than be a pet at home, like, and dog needs some work to do. So that's why I joined this team. When 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 you do something with you you love. And with the one you love, it's gonna, it's gonna bring you to the the goal that you want to accomplish. My name is Boa, and I have three dogs. Uh, one is Beagle. Her name is Speedy. Uh, second one is Bora. He's Labrador, and another one is uh, Belgian Malinois. Her name is Elsa. I start training with uh, Speedy first uh, for two years. For Bora and Elsa, it's just like almost a year. I joined this group because uh, I, I I took the course train dog dog trainer course in Australia, and I come back to Thailand, and I think I can do something to make my dog uh, useful. Like I met Pime, who is a leader of the group, and I try train. The search and rescue, and I like it because I like the sport and outdoor activities. Can I come like four years already in a team? So in Thailand, are there any other uh, volunteer teams about uh, search and rescue? Yes. And uh, they are from the government or they are volunteer? Um, we we work together, and not only we work together in the association with the other search and rescue team. Um, we also train together also. 
So we um, get together with the other um, search and rescue team, Ursa, USAR, mm -hmm. and um, in real situation, they would call us and they okay. would join the team. So you will uh, join a mission through the through their uh, team, let's say. Yes. Yeah. And are there, are there any other uh, dog sets uh, teams in Thailand? Yes, yeah. there are there are dogs from from Italy, from police, from police. Golden, and, okay. and also police. Golden. Golden. Yeah. And have you ever actually been to a mission, or what is your experience in uh, such a rescue? Yeah, we we've been. Um, the first time it was, when was that? Tung Yai Nariya Soang is, is like area search. Yep. Area search. Yep. And the second time is Lama Tivadi is a construction site. Mm -hmm. And then it's correct. Yeah. And then third time was? Euclid. Euclid? It's a condominium. That is like under construction. Okay. So again, a rubble search. Yeah, rubble search. search. And then, um, the helicopter, they right. fall, yeah. And the last week, yeah, last last two week, we went to, which which is it? It's like a showroom. It's an old like, showroom. Yeah, a car showroom. Mm -hmm. and then this, ah, okay. And demolition. Yeah, and then it's correct. And so, how was the results? Um, it was good because we worked together with another volunteer team, mm -hmm. and. I mean, by results, this is what I mean. I mean, how the whole mission went and uh, how was the cooperation with others? Uh, the operation went good. When we. But it's. it's yeah. uh, there is another dog team that's already already back. Okay. Uh -huh, the spot. And that spot. The people, the worker who, who land from during the, the, the collapse said that there was a tractor working there. Okay, tractor. Tractor yeah. working there. confirmed the victim. Yeah, and maybe still, maybe not, not alive. Not alive. Okay. Yeah, because usually we train dog. If the dog find a victim, live victim, the dog will bark. Mm -hmm. But we look for another body language if dog finds something else. For example, like a dead, like people. dead people. Okay. Yeah, so our dog, they didn't bark. They when they start digging. Yeah. Okay. One dig by one and another thing using the nose. So how is the volunteer in uh, Thailand? Do Thai people get into volunteer teams or not so much? Thai people love to to give. To give, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this kind of training, this kind of volunteer, very difficult to get people involved. Because it's like you have to attend every week uh, to train the dog. Yeah. So we you really have time and yeah. So we we are looking for the volunteer too. Yeah. And uh, how are people with dogs in Thailand? Because I was in a center the last days in Bangkok, and I didn't see a lot of people with dogs. I saw a lot of strays, but not a lot of people with dogs. There are many places that dog can walk, mm -hmm. like in department store, dog park, mm -hmm. but on the street it's different from Europe or America. Much different. Okay. Yeah, because weather and we also have straight dog okay. who cannot control. Okay, so but in general, Thai people they have dogs. Yes, they love dogs. Do they train the dogs, or yes. not so much? Some some of them, but they don't walk a dog in like in Europe. In the yeah. Okay, in the yeah. And how do you see the future in uh, search and rescue of your search and rescue team in Thailand? How do you see? What do you would like? your team to be in some years? First, we plan to pass the IRO test mm -hmm. and then we plan to go for lady mission test because um, the OSA team in Thailand, mm -hmm. they try to pass the Insala. Insala. Yeah. So one of the rules of Insala, we might have a um, K-19. Insala? Insala. Insala. 
Salam International from UN. Okay. Okay. So, uh -huh. so the team must have a, a, a no search baby. and rescue dog. Okay. And uh, that search and rescue dog have to pass the mission ready test. Readiness. Okay. Uh, the mission, mission readiness. readiness yes. Okay. So that nice. is our target. Nice. And in Thailand, do you have a lot of people that they get lost, or uh, do you have earthquakes, or what kind of missions normally you have here? We, we don't have that much earthquake. Mm -hmm. mm, mostly it's like building collapse. Building collapse. Yeah. And people, they get lost in the, in the jungle. I mean, boot in the jungle. Um, there's the soya, yeah. The ranger, ranger yeah. They have a better quality than the yeah. So mostly it's like building collapse. Building collapse. Yeah. Okay. So it's more easy for a ranger to find someone because he knows the area than exactly. yeah. to get a such and a rescue dog team. Yeah. If you go there with dogs, you need a permission because it's national park. Okay. Most of the area is national park. I didn't know that. <laughs> and, and dog is not allowed. And dog is not around. And if you go there, we have to go with Ranger. Hi, I'm Nui, and I have a dog named Frankfurt, and she's a German Shepherd dog. And um, next month in January 2017, she'll be two years old. The reason I um, have a German Shepherd dog because oh, actually I was I was afraid of dogs all my life. So 10 years ago, I moved to America and I started working at Los Angeles International Airport and I saw a lot of um, dogs working at the airport and they were not scary like my parents told me that, you know, they, they, they would bite you. And um, so I started researching about this breed, German Shepherd, and um, for eight years before I, I got the dog. And when I moved back to Thailand, I um, bought the dog to be a workout buddy. And one day I took her for a walk and I met Pime and she um, asked me to join the team. So we started training together for one year and a half already and she's getting better every day. Hi, my name is Nicholas. I'm 29 years old. <laughs> I actually joined this group for about four years. At first I didn't have a dog, but I was like helper. You know, like as victim, I went and, and hide in the building collapse. Yeah, and then the doctors go and search me. So I was a helper. It was happy time though. Um, you can see how the dog react and you can like play with like a lot of dog. Now I have like Beagle named Begin. She is two years old. We train on Saturday and Sunday, yeah? My Beagle in Saturday at 9 o'clock, she just wake up and want to go to work yeah I think it's, it's good that we we give a dog to like a job to do it I want I want you to like maybe try to join us right, so hello uh, my name is Joe I'm a Filipino I'm the newest member of the Thai volunteer search and rescue dog um, I have a dog uh, my, my dog is uh, American Pitbull Terrier, six months, just two days ago. I chose I chose Pitbull because I worked with um, bull 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 line before. I had a dog, a bull mastiff, and um, you know people will think like big big heads, big dogs, it'd be aggressive. But um, it's like I, I chose Pitbull because I wanted to like send a message to to everyone around, not just in Thailand, that Pitbulls are not aggressive dogs. She's the sweetest dog you can have, but you cannot. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so just you know, send the message, uh, especially Pitbull owners. Um, they are not aggressive, and uh, please stop the stereotyping of it. Okay. So I joined this team because um, I love dogs and I like to help people. So this is the organization, I mean the, the team that you can join wherein you have passion and helping others put together and you know, be happy with your dog. Thank you. Um, and do you have any special place? Do you have a training field that you train the dogs? Um, we train at Banya Pair in Sumut Pakan. It's um, one of our team members. 
um, area and we have our own rubber training field and to be able to build this field we tie up with a lot of money to build the field and it's um, our own money and so so every expense is so no one is giving you money so everything so, from your own pockets yeah. yes okay we get some donation and sponsor. For example, we had a bowling event where um, people can buy the ticket and then um, <coughs> donate some money and then we use the money to build the training field. The training field. So what I would suggest to the to people that we the shares is that if they want to support your team, um, they can contact you. Uh, there will be information on the information of the video about how someone can help you. Uh, no matter if he's Thailand or from another country. Um, and you were telling me before about uh, you do something twice a month about people, which is free. Do you want to tell me something about it? Yeah, we actually have. Sometimes we saw people, they don't, un they don't understand the dog, yeah? And then in Thai culture, somehow they just let the dog go in the temple. Yeah, like so the dog will be like street dog, mm -hmm. stray dog, yeah. So we, we think about that and then we go out and teach people twice a month, like for free. We teach basic obedience, mm -hmm. like sit, stay, and stuff, and teach people to understand the dog, and also let the dog understand the owner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do as a volunteer. And it's really important for me because I didn't expect to find the Shed Shed Rescue team in Thailand. <laughs> because as I know, the Asia in general, their level is not so the same like in Europe or America. So for me, it's really important that uh, there is a team that produces that, uh, promotes the dog uh, ownership. Yeah, and then from that, we can find volunteer in there. So people they, they bring the dog to train us, yeah, on obedience, and then oh, this this one is like have a heart of volunteer. So we we ask them to yeah, you can join us. Nice. Well, that's really nice. Actually, all this from. From, from the, the game, from, from that. From yeah. the class. Yeah. From the training. From the training class. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm about to ask, uh, what is the spirit of your team? What is the idea of building up this team? Okay, so um, I think the, the main idea of having a search and rescue dog is to find the lost and bring love one home. So this, uh, this kind of um, organization is not just an organization, but it requires a lot like time, commitment, um, dedication and everything. So the team believes that whatever the, the breed of the dog, regardless of the reputation, the team believes that we can train them and then hopefully like, you know, we can help other people, especially in Thailand or any other, country. uh, other countries. Uh, so people, uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, your hospitality. I wish you the best for the future and for your team. And uh, I hope we we'll see us again in Thailand or in Europe. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>